delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with my crescent dough sheet. Open this baby up. Oh, okay, it's okay if it's a little ripped up. It's nothing we can't fix. We're gonna go ahead and open up our crescent dough sheet, put it right into our 13 by nine, and just roll it out on top of that cinnamon sugar. Yum me. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for four minutes. While that's in the oven, we're gonna grab a large bowl. I have two sticks of softened cream cheese right into our large bowl. We are going to next then grab our granulated sugar and we're out a half a cup of sugar into this. Woo, okay, it's gonna be extra sweet, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now into that, we are gonna grab our sour cream. This is eight ounces, one cup of sour cream and we're gonna use that whole thing. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get our spatula so we can make sure to get all of that sour cream out. Mm, this is gonna be such an easy and delicious dessert. It's combining two of my favorite desserts in one and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, once we got our sour cream in there, we're almost there. I'm gonna grab my vanilla extract and we are gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract right in there. I'm just gonna use the lid. Makes my life easier. Perfect. We have two eggs here. We're gonna crack into our bowl. One, two. Beautiful. Now I know we added that sugar, but I want this to be nice and sweet. It is a dessert. So I'm gonna grab my sweetened condensed milk and we're just gonna do a nice little drizzle right in there. We don't need to add too much because we have that sugar in there. I'm gonna add about one fourth cup of condensed milk in there. Yeah, that's great for texture too. Yeah, so sweet and delicious. Now we're gonna come in with our hand mixer. Go ahead and turn this on and mix all of those ingredients together. This is gonna be a delicious cream, delicious cheesecake base. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so yummy, so easy. It's gonna be great for the holidays or any, any day, honestly. I could eat this all year round. The flavors are amazing. So yes, one of my favorite desserts is cheesecake and then we're combining it with one of my other favorites, which you'll see in a second. Oh, oh my God. Okay, this is looking gorgeous. Make sure I get those sides. Yummy. We don't want any residue left on our beaters. Put this to the side. We're gonna come in with our slightly baked crescent dough crust. Be careful, it's just a little warm. And this cheesecake mixture is gonna go right on top of that. Let's get a spatula so we can get all of this out and in there. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks so smooth and delicious. Okay, we're almost done here. I am gonna kinda just get it all over the place, make it easy for myself, right? Yeah, oh, that looks perfect. Delicious, and I did spray this pan, so make sure to grease your pan. Now we're gonna come in with one more of those crescent dough sheets. one's ripped even more than last one, but like I said, nothing we can't fight through. That seems like the name of the game with these. Yeah, usually I get pretty lucky. So let's go ahead and completely unroll this so that we can just lay it right on top of that cheesecake mixture. Super quick. Oh yeah, perfect. perfect. Look, and that kind of just melts together so we have no holes. Now I did say this was a combination of my two favorite desserts and my the second dessert is churros. Mm. And that's why we're adding that cinnamon sugar and the crescent dough because that's gonna kind of give a churro-like taste. It's not gonna be obviously traditional. This is 
far from anything traditional, but it is delicious. I can promise you guys that. All right, so this is ready to be put back in the oven. This time my oven's set to 375 and it's gonna cook for 30 minutes. Oh my. All right, you guys, so after the 30 minutes, I popped this in the fridge for three hours. So it is set and it is ready. I have here some beautiful sliced strawberries just to make this extra delicious. And let's go ahead and place these strawberries right on top of our churro cheesecake. Yummy. All right, you guys. I kind of just tried to make it look like a little Christmas tree just to be fun and festive, tis the season, but this is obviously not necessary. You don't even need to put strawberries on yours, but let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay, let's go ahead and cut through. Oh my gosh, it's set beautifully. Ooh, it looks like it's perfectly cooked. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. It already wants to come out. Oh yeah, remember we have that bottom layer. Doesn't that look incredible? Okay. Looks Ooh. so good, babe. Churro cheesecake, you guys. Doesn't get any better than this. Oh, that crust, the thick 